hey guys what's up it's time to do a speed test comparison between the iphone 14 pro max versus the samsung galaxy s22 ultra yes i did the speed test already but this time the samsung s22 ultra is running on one ui 5.1 update based on android 13 and the iphone 14 pro max is just got the ios 16.4 update so again on the back we have a quad cameras on the samsung versus a triple cameras on the iphone 14 pro max and Samsung has a 108 megapixel f1.8 aperture optical MS Savage main camera. Then we have a 12 megapixel draw wide and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens, which gave you a 3x optical zoom. We also have a another 10 megapixel telephoto periscope lens, which gave you a 5x optical zoom with OIS. While on the other hand, iPhone 14 Pro Max has a 48 megapixel f1.8 aperture with a sensor shift OIS main camera. Then we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens which give you a 3x optical zoom with OIS and the back on both phones is made up of glass. We have a dual ion glass on the iPhone 14 Pro Max versus a Coring Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the Samsung S22 Ultra and the frame of the iPhone is made up of stainless steel while Samsung has a armor aluminium. So on the bottom we have USB Type-C on the Samsung S22 Ultra versus a lightning port on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and I know that the Samsung S22 Ultra is not the right but still I want to show you that how is the One UI 5.1 on the Samsung S22 Ultra is stack up against the on their iOS 16.4 so we have a zero speakers on both phones as you know so now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time so let's see who is perform faster so logo is came up first on the samsung again we have a qualcomm snapdragon 8 gen 1 with a 12 gb of ram versus apple a16 with 6 gb of ram so iphone 14 pro max is super super faster as you can see while samsung is taking a lot of time now samsung it is also done so you can see we have 4 or 5 second difference between these devices when it comes to booting up and guys now let's talk about the displays between these devices again iphone 14 pro max has a 6.7 inch flash d plus ltpo super retina xdr OLED display with 120 hertz refresh rate which hdr 10 plus support dolby vision and a 2000 nits of peak brightness while on the other hand samsung s22 ultra has a 6.8 inch quad hd plus dynamic amoled ltpo 120 hertz refresh rate with hdr 10 plus support and a 17 15 nits of peak brightness also on the top we have a dynamic island on the iphone 14 pro max versus infinity or display on the samsung s22 ultra also samsung s22 ultra is giving you a curved display so it feels more premium over the iphone 14 pro max and you know samsung s22 ultra also has a s pen which you don't find in the iphone at all so so everything's closed up in the background no app is running in the background also we have same wife network on both phones so the first application we have is the phone dialer that is a little faster on the samsung so now let's open settings that is also a little faster on the iphone so again we have ltpo 120 hertz refresh rate on both phones as you can see but we have a quad hd resolution on the samsung so now check out some more apps now check out Amazon shopping and Samsung S22 Ultra is a tiny bit faster but at the end very similar performance and scrolling fees really smooth on both phones as you can see no issue whatsoever so now let's open this again faster on the Samsung if I'm not wrong so now check out some games application now let's start off with the Candy Crush Saga One UI 5.1 versus iOS 16.4 so that is very similar Instagram faster on the Samsung let's spin out snapchat faster on the Samsung Spotify similar performance and now let's see subway surfer iPhone 14 Pro Max is taking the lead so let me show the speakers on both phones first on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And 
here is the Samsung. The speakers it is really nice on both phones but iPhone 14 Pro Max speakers is more louder as well as has a lot more bass over the Samsung S22 Ultra. S23 Ultra is the right competitor to the iPhone 14 Pro Max but I don't have the Samsung S23 Ultra right now with me. Let's see Temper N2. So Temper N2 is faster on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. As you can see, so this time only one second difference. Now let's open this big game which is called as PUBG Mobile. Apple A16 with Apple 5 core GPU versus Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 with Adreno 730 GPU I think. So iPhone 14 Pro Max is faster there as you can see. Also in that game we have a smooth graphics with 90 fps on the iphone versus a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate on the galaxy s22 ultra and the gaming performance overall it is much better on the iphone 14 pro max so now let's open the geekbench 6 and now let's run the cpu benchmark at the same time so iphone 14 pro max is completely done while samsung it is at 63 percent so iphone 14 pro max has a 2534 single score score and a 6483 multi core score so and that's the highest scores that we have in the Geekman 6 so now let's wait for the samsung s22 ultra s22 ultra also done as well so you can see we have a huge difference in the scores samsung s22 ultra has 1640 single score score and a 3409 multi core score so you can see we at least have a 30 to 40 percent difference between these devices and Samsung is lost 30 percent while iPhone is lost only 2 percent so iPhone it is also much more efficient and now let's opening up the Twitter that one faster on the Samsung now let's open Zedge and that one faster on the Samsung S22 Ultra so now let's see scrolling and face really smooth on both phones 120 hertz is working absolutely fine so last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera application so now let's see which one is faster so iphone 14 pro max is much faster in that area so now let's look at the front facing camera so samsung has a 40 megapixel selfie camera while iphone has a 12 megapixel with out focus now now check out internet browsing speed so i am using for samsung internet browser on the samsung versus a safari internet browser on the iphone 14 pro max now let's open apple.com and samsung is faster as you can see in terms of opening the apple.com and scrolling is really smooth as you can see it's the gsmarina.com that one it is faster on the samsung as you can see again so now let's see scrolling feels really smooth no jitters anything like that so now check out ram management on both phones so iphone 14 pro max has 6 gp of ram while samsung has a 12 gp of ram we have ios 16.4 versus samsung one ui5 which is based on android 13 phone dialer seems like in a refresh i think settings still there amazon shopping and that car refresh on the samsung i don't know why let's see candy crush saga again refresh so ram management looks really bad and samsung is running on march security patch instagram again refresh let's see pin out same result i don't expect to see this RAM management performance from Samsung, Snapchat, Refresh, Spotify, seems like Refresh, Subway Surfer, again Refresh, so RAM management is really bad, let's see Temper N2, again Refresh, let's see PUBG Mobile, same result, so you can see every single app it is Refresh on the Samsung, I think. 
we have some bug which will be fixed with the restart but as of now Samsung is perform worse than the iPhone 14 Pro Max opening up the Twitter Zedge and last we back to the internet browser where we left as you can see and guys over I have to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see that in system based apps as well as in some games and both phones is is perform very similar but in heavy games like in PUBG the iPhone 14 Pro Max is taking the lead so we have a 3 or 4 second difference between these devices but overall not a big difference and the animations also feels really smooth even on the Samsung thanks to One UI 5.1 optimization so in terms of the RAM is wise in that area and this way we should see a big difference iPhone 14 Pro Max is perform excellent in the RAM management while on the Samsung we have a lot of refresh I mean a lot of now let's talk about the battery sizes as you know iPhone 14 Pro Max has 4300 only 3mAh battery size with a 20 watt fast charging support no charger in the box while Samsung has a 5000mAh battery size with a 45 watt fast charging support but no charger in the box so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you like this video so leave your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos like this and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.